a bit of hesitation there. <laughs> First day playing the ocarina. This is how I break apart, break up the instruments. I just freestyle and explore and improvise on them until I get how they work. Strangely satisfying. Strangely, strangely satisfying. I haven't even learned all those native scales and how do I play it so it sounds more Native American or Aztec or Peruvian. But yeah, yeah, I, I can see this going places because you can play it with eyes closed and this is something I need a lot. <laughs> I mean, these are simple, I don't even know what to call them, tunes, melodies, but to me at least, they're so strangely satisfying, it's like uh, every one of them is a short two-part story about something, like it triggers the mind into all kinds of directions. I think this last one was about maybe to my mind, okay, this is what goes through my mind. I think it was about like a, a shepherd or a bard and forests and, and medieval times and probably girls and like meeting his sweetheart and so on and so forth and playing the flute or the ocarina for her or something. Just, this is how what it goes what goes through my mind when I play these things. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it sounds so medieval. I'm a bard. <laughs> I'm a bard right now <laughs> since I got this thing. Ah. <sighs> Oh man, kindergarten, here we come. <laughs> oh man, beautiful. Now notice that um, some of these just come from me not knowing what the hell I'm doing, but at least part of them sound good. So I think um, I've noticed the same with playing with xylophones or any, any sort of instruments like that. If you just play with it, just randomly test what the keys do, some of the portions of the melody will come out right, it will sound interesting or close enough to interesting that you can perfect it. And then you get these nice little songs that um, I think they sound good, at least to me, but they sound good to others as well. So I'm, I'm seeing some really nice potential in this one, going busking, make a, making a little money on the side, just putting a hat down and playing these simple tunes. Because I think they're very effective, like while they're, they're not 
highly technically elaborate or demonstrating some super high degree of finger skill or anything like that, they're very calming. Like the sound of this thing and the fact that I'm not pushing it to extremes to, like I don't have something super heavy to prove, that makes it relaxing to the listener. And so, um, I see good fun times coming out of this one. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh. I think you're, you're seeing where I'm going with this. Most of them probably become highly predictable. Um, it's like a really simple-minded, low IQ, low effort situation, but to me, it is great fun. It just spreads the good vibes. Ah! <sighs> I was trying to to hit the pitch of that ah, like like what pitch is that right maybe this one ah, ah. <laughs> <It's a laughs> kind of you see what I'm saying and I did this outside as well I was just listening to things and when people would make these weird noises noises or whistling or anything I'll try to match them to or to reply back to what they did kind of like birds <laughs> <laughs> 